श्री ज्ञानेश्वरी श्री गणेशाय नम श्री सरस्वत नम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम श्री गोपालय नम चैप्टर सिक्स ध्यान योग कंटिन्यूड श्लोका नंबर सिक्सटीन योगा इज नॉट फॉर हिम हु ईट्स टू मच नॉर फॉर हिम हु ईट्स टू लिटिल नॉर फॉर हिम हु इंडल्जेस इन टू मच स्लीप एंड श्योरली नॉट फॉर हिम हु कीप्स अ वेक वन हु इज अ स्लेव टू हिज पैलेट और गिविन टू स्लीप इज नॉट कंसिडर्ड क्वालिफाइड फॉर द स्टडी ऑफ योगा नॉर ही हु स्टार्व हिमसेल्फ बाय सप्रेसिंग इज हंगर एंड थर्स्ट नॉर वन हु डिप्राइव हिमसेल्फ ऑफ स्लीप इफ अ पर्सन बिहेव दस इवन हिज बॉडी डजेंट रिमेन अंडर हिज कंट्रोल देन हाउ कैन ही सक्सीड इन योगा देर फोर वन शुड अवॉइड एक्सेसिव एन्जॉयमेंट ऑफ सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स वन शुड नाई दस पॉन इट नॉर रिस्ट्रेन वंस नेचुरल इम्पल्स सेवेंटीन ही हु इज मॉडरेट इन ईटिंग एंड मूवमेंट इन एक्सर्शन एंड इन वर्क इन स्लीप एंड वेकफुलनेस टू हेम अ क्रूज योगा विच डिस्ट्रॉय सोरो A person should eat to live and so he should eat wholesome food in moderation whatever work he undertakes he should also do it in moderation he should be moderate in his speech and in walks and go to sleep at a fixed hour if he has to keep awake he should do so for a limited period by means of such a regulated life he is able to maintain the seven primary fluids of the body in due proportions if senses are kept satisfied by providing them their sense objects in a regular way the mind also remains contented 18 when his well controlled mind rests in the self alone he becomes indifferent to all enjoyments then he is said to be yukta that is absorbed in yoga when the external senses are so regulated the internal organs become full of happiness in this way the yogi attains to yoga without any effort just as when fortune smiles at a person prosperity walks to his doorstep without much effort on his part in the same way when one practices yoga one attains self realization therefore o arjun the fortunate person who has mastered the art of self restraint adorns the throne of emancipation 19 like a lamp kept in the windless place that flickers not this metaphor is thought of in the case of the mind of the yogi who has controlled it by practicing meditation on the self when regulated food is combined with the practice of yoga their happy conjunction becomes like prayag the confluence of three rivers he whose mind remains steady in that state till the end like a monk who remains permanently at a holy place he is entitled to be called a yogi now his mind is comparable to a lamp kept in a windless place o arjun are you afraid that this practice of yoga is difficult to undertake If you entertain such fear in your mind know that these cunning senses are ever creating goblins out of simple things to frighten you O Arjun though medicine postpones death and increases longevity does not the palate regard it as an enemy even so the senses always find such actions troublesome as conduce to the supreme good otherwise is there any method as simple as yoga 20 that in which his mind finds peace restrained by the practice of yoga and in which he is seeing the self by the mind rejoices in the self 21 that in which he experiences absolute bliss which can be grasped by the intellect but is beyond the senses and in which being established he swerves not in truth from it If this yoga is practiced by adopting a steady posture then it will bring about restraint of the senses only when the senses become restrained 
through the practice of yoga the mind of its own accord realizes the self when the mind turns away from the sense objects and becomes introspective it perceives the self and identifies itself with the self thereafter it experiences the kingdom of permanent bliss and becomes one with the self then the mind abides in the self beyond which there is nothing which is beyond the senses 22 that by gaining which he thinks no greater gain beyond it and in which being established he is not shaken by sorrow however great then even if mountains of misery bigger than the meru come down crashing upon him his mind is not shaken nor does his mind which is reposing in the supreme bliss become agitated even if the body is cut with a weapon or falls into fire when the mind is absorbed in the bliss of self it does not remain conscious of the body and having attained this indescribable bliss forgets all things which affect the body 23 that one should know by the name yoga which is detachment from the bond of pain that yoga should be practiced with conviction and with undespairing mind when the mind has savored of this bliss of self it forgets all desires and withdraws itself from the worldly life this bliss is the grace of yoga the kingdom of contentment and the experience of wisdom this bliss is realized directly through the practice of yoga and one who realizes it becomes one with it 24 abandoning without exception all desires born of volition and restraining on every side all the senses by the mind alone nevertheless o arjun this yoga is a simple path in one way this yoga is easy to attain if one destroys desire when volition realizes that with the elimination of the sense objects the activities of the senses are completely brought under control it will die of a broken heart when dispassion fills every pore of the body and mind then volition stops functioning and the intellect dwells happily in the mansion of fortitude 25 gradually he should cease from action by means of his intellect sustained by steadiness and fixing the mind on the self he should think of nothing else 26 from wherever the mind wanders fickle and unsteady by restraining it from there he should bring it under his control if the intellect has the strong support of fortitude it brings the mind gradually on the path of self realization and establishes it in the temple of the supreme self if this cannot be done then i shall tell you another easy way we should first make a rule and resolve not to deviate from it if the mind becomes steady by means of this rule then it is served its purpose if this does not happen the mind should be left to itself wherever then this uncontrolled mind wanders it should be arrested from there and brought back in this way it will gradually become steady of its own accord with this we complete part 5 of chapter 6 ओम श्री कृष्णार्पणमस्तु हरि ओम